Hello everyone, we are here to do some management with our Cisco Wireless LAN controller. This management is about SNMP and RADIUS. Why do we use these? Well, let's start with SNMP. SNMP is Simple Network Management Protocol. We're going to configure our wireless LAN controller to use SNMP in order to forward log messages, known as SNMP traps, to PCA, which will be acting as an SNMP server. This allows us to have a centralized place, which is PCA here, in order to receive messages from network devices and what's happening as well as pre-configured events. We'll configure that on the wireless LAN controller to send those messages to PCA. Setting up an SNMP server on PCA is outside of the scope of this lab. We have already configured it. It's running in the background. Besides SNMP, we'll also be deploying RADIUS. That's Remote Authentication Dial-In User Service. This allows us to use authentication and to verify credentials. How is this going to work? Well, instead of having every wireless client sharing the same pre-shared key of Cisco123 as a wireless password, what if each wireless user had their own unique username password combo to gain access to the wireless? Well, they can. We're going to configure the wireless LAN controller to communicate with a radius server, which will be PCA. PCA will be the centralized location that we will store our users' usernames and password combinations. As our users try to connect to the wireless network on access point one, they'll be asked for a username password combo. As they type it in, access point one will communicate with the wireless LAN controller, and the wireless LAN controller will verify those usernames and passwords are correct with the radius server. This is awesome. So let's deploy these settings on wireless LAN controller, and this wireless LAN controller is going to be referring to the 172.16.1.0 network where that radius server resides. The SNMP server is there as well, and the specific IP address of PCA ends with the .254. So let's configure our wireless LAN controller to communicate with both SNMP to send those SNMP trap messages, as well as RADIUS to do successful authentication on behalf of our wireless clients. Let's get started. So we're here on our Cisco wireless LAN controller. We're on the main splash homepage and we're gonna go into advanced. Inside of advanced, we're gonna jump straight over to management and inside of management, we'll be able to find the settings to deploy SNMP. On the left side, you can see a couple different management services that we can set up. We're gonna focus on SNMP at this time. When I click on SNMP, we'll select trap receivers. We're gonna inform our Cisco wireless LAN controller of the IP address of our SNMP server running on PCA. To do that, I'll click new, and then I can type in the community name that we will use CCNA v7. Then I'll type in the IP address of PCA, which is running as the SNMP server. And now when I click apply, this allows my wireless LAN controller to send SNMP trap messages over to PCA, which will then be collecting them. Now besides SNMP, we'd also like to deploy some security authentication protocol here, and that's going to be RADIUS. We want to use the RADIUS protocol in order to have our users' usernames and password combos be sent over and verified on PCA running as a RADIUS server. That'll be under security. We will find RADIUS, and inside of RADIUS, we will go to authentication. Now. We have the section for RADIUS authentication servers, and it is blank down below. So let's click new, and we will create a new entry for a RADIUS authentication server. Server IP address is again PCA. That's 172.16.1.254. The shared secret is a secret key that must match on both the RADIUS server, PCA, and us for the wireless LAN controller. The shared secret allows the RADIUS server to be able to successfully verify that the wireless LAN controller should be sending username and password combinations against its database on PCA. For that, it has to be the same on both sides, which is testing123. And we type it in twice just to make sure it's correct. Down below, we can leave the default settings here for our RADIUS authentication server. We've got the IP address, we've got the shared secret key, and I can click apply. It is important for us to verify that the Cisco wireless LAN controller can successfully reach the RADIUS server in order to send these requests of credentials against it. I can scroll over to the side, and here's a little blue drop-down, 
and I can click on ping and this will send an ICMP message from the wireless LAN controller over to the server at 172.16.1.254, which is PCA. We've sent three, we've received three, we've got 100% success. So at this time, our wireless LAN controller can send SNMP trap messages over to the SNMP server on PCA, as well as our wireless LAN controller can send username, password combinations using RADIUS from the wireless LAN controller over to PCA to verify users' credentials before they're allowed to join the wireless network.